Well, Freddie, give us give us your overall opinion on the athletes and their performances uh, in in Florida. Errol, thank you for the opportunity. Um, I have to to confess that I'm really extremely pr proud of the athletes and their ability to persevere and deal with adversity. Unfortunately, um, this Speed Capital, which is normally a quality meet, ran into amazingly extraordinarily technical difficulties that made the meet run four hours late. So our athletes endured sitting in the sun at 82 degrees, waiting and waiting and waiting on a running clock to for the opportunity to compete. And they really didn't get started till about 3.30 after being there at 11. And by the time the sprinters were there, it was nighttime and damp. And so they had gone through the duration of being sitting in the heat and then running in the dampness. And they still persevered. So I'm very proud of them. Now, to come away with, with, with a total of nine medals uh, in the meet, it, it says something about just our athletes and the way they persevered, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. The only, you know, the drawback for them, I believe we would have had even better times if the meet had been better organized. It's just, it's just a hard thing to ask children to sit there um, all day in the, in the heat, on the hot benches, no, there's no shade to be found. And then after enduring that, then go run. So yeah, they were, they were tough. So Stephen, there, we had nine medals with 11 children. So the three people who walked away without medals still had really, um, outstanding performances. Maya Bean in the under 17, she's just getting back into track and field. Very proud of her and her efforts. And she's a, a mature per, a mature young person. And she's a leader out there. So we're really proud of her. Poor Miles. Miles has had the misfortune of running a time when electricity failed at National Stadium. Then he has to wait all day to run the one and the two. And, and coming up fourth is like, you know, the, the closest thing to the podium, but not. Um, which is was not real. Um, it was not good for him. Fenella Whiteman, Fenella is you know one of those athletes who puts in the time, and she's going to um, be a star for us. But she was going through exams. She didn't even fly with the team. She finished her exams and flew out later Friday. Got in late Friday morning, up Saturday, ready to run. Kind of things that are our preparation for college. It just all didn't come together in Florida, but it will for her, and I'm very proud of her efforts. What's, what's next for these young athletes as they still are trying to meet the qualifying standard for, for Carifta? So let's go through that. Just, the way the count, the way the, the uh, schedule ended up falling, we took Jazza James to have like a mini octathlon first day. So we put him in four events. Um, but the way they reorganized calendar fell, schedule fell, Jazad did four events in 90 minutes. He did the high jump. As soon as he finished there, he was doing the long jump. As soon as he could change his spikes, he went to long jump. As soon as he finished long jump, he was doing the 1500. When he finished the 1500, he had to go check in for the 110 hurdles. And he brought us three medals there. Um, I haven't been able to look at his point totals, but I know the times were significant. Um, he was working on things to make sure he's building up points. Calling the kid Superman. I'm just proud of his effort. He really did a great job. Uh, another one um, who surprised us would be Azari Jones. If we had talked before I left, I would have said Azari's one of the younger ones. Um, she came off a year last year of injuries. She's a quality athlete. She's going to be a really good athlete, but I thought she was a year away. But she went down there in her age group and brought back two gold medals in the 14, 15, uh, 14 year old girls in the 15 and the eight and ran just real quality times. And, and you know, that, that she had some Bahamians and Jamaicans in her group and she ran around them and just took off. Amaris Munya was a young lady who's been, she ran personal best in the 400 back to back and thought she's going to run a great 400 and it didn't work out for her. And she was very disappointed. And I saw her like kind of retreat and I was really worried about the eight. But she came back fired up in the eight and, and uh, challenged Azari for the gold medal. We came up with silver, so I was proud of that perseverance. Dalen Scott, who we haven't had a chance to see because he goes to school overseas, joined us. Dalen ran quality 400 and quality 200, um, demonstrating that he's ready for his um, first Carifta debut. Um, Jada Grant, for the first time, got a chance to run against people who are 
competitive toward her toward her ability. So she got a chance to run against the Bahamians and Jamaicans and, and meddled each time. But it's good for her to have that kind of race competition so she can see what it is to run from the front and what she needs or and if someone is in front of her and how does that look and how does that feel. So I was really proud of her effort. Um, poor Lachey Jones, fourth place in the two and a four. Um, you know, the closest place to a medal, but she's looking like she's about ready for a career experience. Uh, Sania Jones got injured in the four, and I was really disappointed that she was dealing with a little hip injury, and, and we've been talking with her and her parents. We're going to really try to work on her flexibility because she's a, 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 a strong runner, but she's not very flexible, and those kind of th injuries happen. But she ran a quality 400, and she actually told me, Evans, I think this is going to be my event. I'm let I'm gonna run the two and the four from now on instead of the one and the two, so I, I was pleased with her. Um, and overall, like I, I can't say enough about all of the children and the attitudes and uh, Iora Golding, her first opportunity to run a hurdle. Now, real quickly, Earl, Iora has been training since last year. She decided she I like the hurdles. I want to learn the hurdles. She has been under the tutelage of Jerry Swan. Jerry Swan works with her three times a week. You see, you've seen her grow from a athlete who jumped over hurdles to a hurdler. And then she went out there in her age group, her first race, fighting nerves. She was very, very nervous. But once the gun went off, she popped out of the blocks and hit that first hurdle and she was gone. Everything Jerry taught her just kicked right in and really excited and happy for her. And I, I think she has uh, her punch to ticket to career because we have to reward athletes who go through that kind of endurance and keep showing that kind of progression. And although she's an under 20 and we're very um, focused on standards for that age group, we're going, uh, you know, I'm very close to, you know, I'll be leaning on ensuring I, I or gets that opportunity because she's earned that. All right, Doc, I appreciate you. We will be at the track for the next track meet to see how these kids, what these kids have learned in this past track meet overseas and, and what they can put on back here. In, in Bermuda when they, when they next compete. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the opportunity. And, uh, you know, we're, we're gearing up for Carifta, so Bermuda, your athletes will be ready. Thanks for the support, Earl.